everyone, this is Larry Peacott, and I'm so excited that you're here with me today to learn about Photoshop Elements and how to use it to make digital scrapbooking pages. We are going to start with a short little introduction into Photoshop Elements and get used to the layout of the screen and some of the tools that we're gonna be using. So the first thing that I'm going to do is to open Elements. And it's going to give me this welcome screen and I'm going to go down here to photo editor and click on it. Up at the top you'll notice that you have a couple of different options for the editor and we want to make sure that we're going to be in the expert mode. This is where we're going to create all of our pages and do all of our editing for our photos. When you open the editor for the first time, your layers panel may not be showing, and that would be this panel over here on the right-hand side of your screen. And there are a couple of different ways that you can open that. Um, the first way is that you can go up to Windows and Layers, and right now I have that checked. If you don't have that checked, go ahead and click on it, and it'll make this layers panel pop out for you. The other way is down here at the bottom, we have some icons, and one of them is actually the Layers palette. So if I click that, it'll shut down my layers palette. If I click on it, it'll open my layers palette. The layers panel is important because it will show us all of our layers that we have open and all of our layers that we have available to us to edit. Now you can think of your layers as being different pieces of paper or photos that are stacked on top of each other. We also want to set our preferences. And to do that on a Mac, you can find that under Adobe Photoshop Elements Editor, Preferences, and we're going to click on General. Now if you're on a PC, you're going to go to Edit and then Preferences. Most of these preferences I just leave on their default settings, but one thing I wanted to point out to you was under General, there's the option that you can set Zoom with Scroll Wheel. If you are using a mouse that has a scroll wheel, this allows you to zoom in and out of your layout or your picture just using your scroll wheel. And I know a lot of people love that feature. I'm on a Mac and I actually use a trackpad, so I don't like this feature because it doesn't work that great with the trackpad. So it's up to you if you wanna go ahead and check that or if you wanna leave it unchecked. And then we'll just click OK to click out of this. Over here on our left hand side of our screen, we have all of these tools that we can use in Photoshop. So I'm just going to point out a few of them that we're going to be using in our class. The first one is up here, it's called the Move Tool. And if I click on it, you will see down here at the bottom that I have a pop-up screen that pops up and it gives me all of these tool options. Now that will be the same for any tool that I select based on whatever tool I select, it will give me a new panel of options down here that I can set. So the Move tool is one that we're going to be using a lot. And one thing that we want to make sure that we have set on our Move tool is this Auto Select Layer is checked and this Show Bounding Box is checked. The other tool we're going to be using quite a bit is the Text tool and it's down here and it's this T icon and we'll be setting these options as we go along in the class. Another tool we'll be using is this paint bucket tool. And one other tool we will be using is this rectangle tool, which also has some other tools grouped in it that we, were, we are gonna be using as well. Down here at the bottom, we also have a foreground swatch and a background swatch. And we can use these to set our colors and we'll get more into that as we go along in the class. Now one little tip about these tools and something that will help speed up your scrapbooking in Photoshop is that there are hotkey commands for each of these tools. So if you hover over each of the tools, you will see a little note that pops up that tells you what tool you're looking at and in parentheses it will tell you what letter or what command to type to get that particular tool. And so it makes it really easy for you to just type in a letter and switch between, between tools. As we go along in the class, I'll try to make sure to point out the hotkey commands as we use them so you can get familiar with them. I also have a download in the class that you can print out and use to refer to as you're making your first layouts. 
I also want to point out some of these icons that are down here at the bottom. The first one is our photo bin, and this will show us each file that we have open. So if we have five photos that are open, we'll see five thumbnails of photos open down here. And it makes it easy for you to click and switch between each one of them, and you'll kind of see how that works as we work through the class. Tool options we went over with each of the tools. We have an undo and a redo button, and just like up here with these tools, there are hotkey commands for undo and redo, and I'll try to point those out as well. That about covers our intro to our workspace. I just wanted to help you get familiar with what you are seeing on your screen before we dive into our first lesson. I'm super excited, and I hope you are too, and I'll see you in our next lesson.